Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. Tio, I'm going to throw one at you, all right? Okay. Here's what I'm going to, here's what I'm going to throw at you. I would make the argument that if Mark Sears comes back to Alabama with the addition of Cliff Amore, with Grant Nelson coming back, and with some of the guys that they pulled out of the, the portal, the uh, – um, the Millette kid, I'm blanking on his first name from Pepperdine. Uh, they added another shooter. Um, that I'm blanking Houston, on. Houston, Houston, Houston yeah. Millette, 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 yeah. Chris Youngblood, Aiden yes. Holloway, Cliff yes. Amori. Yes. So with what they added out of the portal, assuming that they get Mark Sears back, and I, I kind of expect them to get Mark Sears back, I would say that this team won the portal. I would say that they are uh, right there as the preseason number one B team. And I, I would probably make the argument that they should be preseason number one of the country. You get Mark Sears back and all American. Uh, you get a bunch of shooters to put around him. You have the guy in Aiden Holloway to be your, 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 uh, your, your lightning off the bench. And you also add the best rebounder and rim protector that was available in the portal. And maybe one of the best rebounders and rim protectors in college basketball last season, which, Oh, by the way, happened to be the one thing that you were missing on the team that made it to the final four this year give me houston man all right i'm sorry give me alabama i think that they're going to be the best team in college basketball if they get mark sears that's the qualifier yeah and some really and some really good freshmen coming in too darian reed and aiden mm -hmm. shirell are talented like really talented and then they just flipped lebaron Phelan, who was going to kansas uh <laughs> there's a lot of weapons i actually think aiden holloway you know, he was good at, at Auburn. I think he could be great under Alabama's system. Maybe not with Mark Sears back, but if he hangs around for another year after this one, if Mark Sears returns, like, you're going to see a really good version of Aiden Holloway. There, the Omorie thing, I, I was shocked. I, I don't know about you guys, but that wasn't the team that pulled him into the portal. It was the team who got him out of the portal. So it was – uh, really interesting to see that he goes down there. Uh, that dude's a menace, and he's going to work really well. Just kind of a perfect system fit for what they need and what they've had and had success with. Uh, man, what a what a team they're putting together. Mark Sears coming back. He should come back, right? Like that that should happen. Yeah, but he's I think he has graduated right, and he's a fifth year guy if he comes back. So like I totally get it. If you kind of got your degree, you made it to the final four, you played for your hometown school. Like how can you be better than that? Um, but I do think that with the budget that Alabama is working with, you can probably make more if you're Mark Sears uh, in Tuscaloosa than you can in I don't know, like Erie or. Uh, so they got a bigger they got a bigger NIL budget now. Obviously, I well, got kicked up. Cliff Amore said no to a uh, great Osibor sized offer. Yeah. So how about that? That wasn't that wasn't Georgetown. <laughs> People thought that was Georgetown. It wasn't Georgetown. No. It was not Georgetown. Yep. Uh, it's going to be, you know, Amori, to me, he could have done even more for a, a bad Rutgers team this past year than he did. Uh, but how much of their results then played into just him? Just him, you know, I, I just thought he was passive at times. He's not going to be passive for Nate Oates. Nate Oates. Nate Oates demands you to be active, demands you to play one way. So Alabama's a great candidate for number one. Whether you are a world-class athlete or a podcaster like me, we all understand the importance of mental and physical well-being and proper recovery for top-notch performance. After a six-month season loaded with cross-country travel, I can promise you that proper recovery is a priority for me these days. That's why I'm excited that Unified Healing is sponsoring this episode of The Field of 68. Unified Healing is a new and super innovative global network of wellness centers powered by Energy Enhancement System, or the EE System. If you haven't heard of the EE System yet, you'll want to listen up. This technology promotes wellness, deep relaxation, purification, and rejuvenation. Whether you're here in New Jersey or at one of the hundreds of other locations across the globe, access to a center is easy and affordable. If you're interested in experiencing the EE system technology for yourself, go to unifiedhealing.com slash unified68 to learn more and find a center near you. That's U-N-I-F-Y-D healing.com slash U-N-I-F-Y-D, the number six, the number eight. No material or testimonials on the Unified Healing website are intended to be viewed as medical advice or as a substitute for professional medical advice. 
diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified healthcare provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition or treatment and before undertaking a new healthcare regimen, including the EE system.